Hey there, this is Nathan, just giving you a quick tutorial on how to get your Unity projects into the Oculus Go. I'm going to kind of go through all the steps on how to do that. First, you're going to want to download and install Java JDK. Make sure you download the latest version. When you finish downloading and installing and Java JDK, you're going to want to go to the Android developer website and download Android Studio. I've already downloaded and installed the Android Studio. And once you've finished installing and downloading it on your computer, go to Start Menu and open the Android Studio. Once you've opened the Android Studio, go to Configure. SDK Manager, and once all of your updates have finished loading, install the latest version of Android. Make sure to also go to your SDK tools and install the NDK, or just copy what I have going on right here. Once you have everything installed, you can exit out of the Android Studio. When you finish setting that all up in the Android Studio, you're going to want to install the Oculus Go drivers. To do that, you're going to want to go to the Android developer website and find the Oculus Go ADB drivers. I've already downloaded the file, and once you've done that, go to the folder, extract the Oculus Go ADB zip file, Install your Oculus Go drivers. Once you've finished installing the drivers, go to your PC and you should see your VR headset. If you don't see it, you can unplug and plug it back in, and it should show up. If your drivers still aren't working, you can download and install the drivers using this tool. But hopefully you shouldn't have to. When you finished installing your Oculus Go drivers, open up Unity and create a new project. I've called my project Oculus Go Example, but you can call your project whatever you want. Open up the Asset Store, look for the Oculus Interactions, download and import. You can also look for the Oculus Samples Framework, download and import that as well if you want. When you finish downloading and importing all of your assets for the Oculus Go, go to your build settings, change your change the platform to Android and switch platform. When you finish switching platforms, see if you can find your Oculus Go. Before we set up the player settings, go to preferences. External Tools, and Android. Finding the SDK, JDK, and NDK should be relatively simple. Simply browse. My computer, C drive, user, your name, <coughs> your name or identification number, app data, Local, Android, SDK, SDK, and select your folder. For the JDK, you're going to want to go into your computer, C drive, program files, Android, Android Studios, JRE, and select the folder. For NDK, go to your C drive, users, username or ID, app data, <coughs> local, Android, 
SDK, Android NDK. You might have to download the NDK separately. Now that we have the Android preferences set, let's load up the Oculus Go scene. Which is under Oculus VR Scenes. Gear VR Controller Test. Let's add this scene to the build. Make sure to delete any other scenes that aren't necessary. Now let's set up the player settings. Let's take a moment and rename the package name. Also, let's set the Android API level. Make sure it's higher than 19. Let's set up the XR. Make sure you have Oculus set up as your virtual reality device. Now that we have everything ready, let's do a quick test build. Make sure your Oculus Go is plugged in.